Good morning, Urbanites. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Josh, and it's time for the JS Urban Adventures fifth. Is this the fifth annual? I think this is the fourth or the fifth annual JS Urban Adventures Thanksgiving feast episode. I just woke up. I need to get cleaned up, get some coffee, get out of bed. But let's get into the Thanksgiving video. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. God bless. Great day for America. Let's go. Alright guys, again, happy Thanksgiving. Coffee's brewing. Coffee's brewing. We're watching the uh, Macy's Day Parade right now. I still gotta wash my face and get cleaned up a little bit. I just rolled out of bed. This is usually the time that I'm going to bed with my new job. I'm usually going to sleep about now. But I got the day off. We got some turkey, a small turkey. It's just gonna be me and one other person. Shane's gonna come over so he can have some Thanksgiving. Cheap turkey. It's like nine pounds. We've got some uh, seasoning, some chicken broth. We're gonna do candy yams again. I got brown sugar and butter, don't worry. We're gonna do the pasta salad that I did not do last year, but I did the year before. Caesar this time with some black and green olives in it. And I also got stuff for a bag salad. Stuffing, cranberry sauce. Everything in boxes and cans, it's easy but it's gonna be a feast. And the green bean casserole. The green bean casserole, some biscuits, some potatoes. We're gonna do loaded baked potatoes. I got some squash. I might stuff a little of that in the turkey. Bacon and cheese for the baked potatoes and sour cream. Eggnog, we got eggnog and then for dinner. My favorite craft beer. People say it sounds gross, but it's freaking fire. Utter Chaos Chocolate Milk Stout. This is the beer that I'm gonna have with dinner. I'm gonna get cooking on it. Let me show you what the time and temperature check. It's like 11.30. What's up, Echo? Echo, it's Thanksgiving, buddy. Let's see what. Ooh. It's hazy and gray and cold outside. And I'm doing my laundry so I don't have all my clothes. But uh, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I'm gonna sweep in here, do up these little bit of dishes, and then start prepping on all this stuff. Once I got a few things, once I'm started prepping, I will show you guys how to do it. Ooh, Macy's Day cheerleaders, let's go. This is the Goku float. It's my favorite part of the Macy's Day Parade. Goku's in New York. He's got to fight the Democrats. <laughs> All right, prep is done. Here's the green bean casserole. This year I did, so the recipe calls for two cans or four cups of canned veggies or fresh veggies. Each can has two cups. So this is four cans, three cans of green beans, one can of peas and carrots, just to mix it up a little bit this year. Two cans of cream of mushroom soup, salt and pepper, and then your, like uh, two thirds of your onion straws from the French's, and then in the last five minutes, you'll put the last ones on there and let them crisp. I'll stir this up before I cook it so they don't get too soggy. But I'm going to put this in the fridge. And then the candy yams. That's a half cup of butter. Two big cans of the candy yams. is a half cup of butter. And one cup of brown sugar. So basically the recipes that are on the cans. But I doubled the recipes. So. And then I'm going to put. They say use the little marshmallows. I like using these big marshmallows. Because you just set them evenly. And they flatten out perfectly and they don't get all down in the cracks. 
is you get better layers with the big marshmallows. And now I'm just gonna cut up some olives for the pasta salad for later. Put everything in the fridge and then prep up the turkey. All right, prep is done. Oven is preheating. Got some onions, some squash, some thyme from the garden, some garlic, buttered and seasoned the veggies that we're gonna stuff up into this turkey. Here's the turkey, all seasoned up. Got some salt, pepper, butter, chicken broth down in there, all seasoned. Oh, and I'm gonna add this uh, wood fire garlic seasoning on the outside. Shove these veggies up into it, put it in the oven. It's a nine pound turkey, so I'm gonna cook it at 325 for about two and a half hours with foil over the top. Take the foil off, put the other stuff in the oven and let it go for another half an hour at the end. So, should be about three hours for this size turkey at 325, so. Let's get into it. Yeah, buddy. Oven's preheating. And we got the stove top. And we got the pasta salad. Cranberry sauce, muffins. That stuff doesn't take any prep. The yams, some olives for the pasta salad. There's green and black olives in there. And then a pumpkin pie. And we got Oh yeah, and baked potatoes. I'll have to get the baked potatoes ready in like two hours. So we're done all with all the prep for a little while. But I've got ingredients for baked potatoes. We've got fresh chives from the garden. Look at my pineapple. It's not doing too hot. I'm gonna just throw this away. <laughs> I'm gonna do these dishes. Probably run to the gas station and grab a couple beers. Regular beers. The chocolate milk stout is for my dinner time, Thanksgiving dinner. Let me uh, finish prepping this turkey and get her in the oven. I think the oven's done preheating. 325. The salad's done. Caesar with olives, onions, and some vinegar. Nice. It's pretty good. Watching some football. Turkey is about to be taken out and basted again. It's been going for two hours and 50 minutes. I got the water and butter ready for the stuffing. Water ready. I'm gonna mix this gravy packet and this gravy and the amounts of water for both of them. And then I'm gonna cook bacon on this pan for the baked potatoes. And when the bacon's done, I'm gonna cook the giblets up for Echo. I tried them last year. I might try a little piece of each again this year, but I'll cut it up and uh, feed it to Echo, the turkey giblets, the heart and the liver, and the kidney? I don't know. When I take the turkey out to baste it, throwing these two in, mix that up. And then uh, toss the salad, pause. Gotta <laughs> toss the salad. Oh, and the pasta salad, I added some cheese to it. It's ready to go. Looking good. Oh, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna baste it and let it go for another 30 minutes without the foil on it. It's looking good. Just dump those juices over it. I should have used those juices in the water instead of for the gravy, I'm gonna take some of the water out. Use some of that drippings. All right, it's almost ready. Football game, starting up the presentation. I didn't burn the yams this year, but I did burn a little bit of the crust on the top of the uh, green bean casserole. Pasta salad, salad, the cranberry. Plates are ready to go. The potatoes, this is gonna be Echo's bowl. Give them some bacon. Stuff for the baked potatoes. Cooking up the giblets for Echo. Gravy and uh, stuffing's done. I did the stuffing a little too early and it was getting dry, so I'm adding broth to it to keep it fresh. And the baked potatoes 
I had it at 325 and the baked potatoes are taking a long time. They're still hard. And the turkey was only at 150. So I cranked it up to 400 and we're gonna go. It's been going for like five minutes. We're gonna go for another 10 minutes to get that turkey's temp up a little more. Get those potatoes soft. Cook these up for echo. Should be done in about eight to 10 minutes. You ready for Thanksgiving? You get a Thanksgiving bowl, bud. All right, it's all ready. Except the potatoes. The potatoes, I'm just leaving in there. They're still hard. Echo's little bowl. I forgot to, oh, he can eat some green beans. And that's about it. I didn't make, he can eat potatoes, but. Making the plate, all I gotta do is cut the turkey. And there's the first plate. Boom, I don't even have the cranberry. Shane's making his plate. It looks pretty good, huh? Yeah. Pour into that turkey. I don't even know if I'm gonna need a baked potato. I might just save the baked potatoes for another time. And this is Echo's bowl. Echo can start eating first. There's turkey, bacon, giblets, some green beans. Echo, that's a feast for you, buddy. He's gonna eat all of it. Oh yeah. He's gonna be sick, probably. Yeah. He's gonna be pooping like a champ. Heck yeah. So I'm gonna sit down and take a bite and see how it is. It's only been like 10 seconds. Yum. That's liver, heart, kidneys, turkey, green beans. He ate it. What are you thankful for, Echo? <laughs> that? <laughs> yeah, for that. Heck yeah. Have a bite, have a couple bites and let me know how it is, Shane. Oh, I like green and cash horses. Yeah, I put peas and carrots in it this year, so it should taste a little different. I'm ready to eat. I think they're pretty good. <laughs> Green meat casserole, the, the crisp ones for the top got a little burnt, but it's kind of good. I think it makes it better that way a little bit. Stuffing. I cooked it a little too early. I should have waited a little longer. It's a little mushy and pasty. Echo. You're excited now. You don't get more. You should have paced yourself. You ate the whole bowl so fast. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Shane? I really like that. The yeah. macaroni. Or the, uh, the pasta salad. Yeah, not the pasta salad. Yeah. Onion crisp stuff. Oh, the uh, green bean casserole. Mm hmm. That was really good. Carrots and the peas added quite a distinct flavor. I had the yams buried under all the other food, so it's like dessert mixed into it, but that just adds sweetness to everything. Pasta salad is pretty good with those olives, though. Yams are good. Let's try this turkey. Turkey time. Little piece of skin and thigh. It's done right. I got the white meat. Shane's got the dark meat first. My piece of dark meat is still sitting right here. Yeah, buddy. I like making little sandwiches, little Thanksgiving sandwiches with this, but I need some of the cranberry. But happy Thanksgiving, guys. God bless. I'm going to eat some of this food and then I'll say goodbye to you in just a moment when we're all done. See how much of this we can get through. Well guys, it's the next day. I forgot to do an outro yesterday. Had a great Thanksgiving, ate a ton of food. Still got a ton of leftovers. Still got a ton of leftovers. I'm making myself some leftover, I guess breakfast now, because I've only been awake for like an hour. It's nighttime, because I went to work last night. Gotta go to work here in a couple hours. So I'm gonna eat some leftovers. 
it was a great Thanksgiving. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thankful for. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Check out the Rumble, Dreaded Conservative on Rumble. And uh, all the good stuff. We'll be going live soon, ladies and gentlemen. So stick around the channel. And I'll catch you guys later. Watch the video. Watch the playlist. I'm out. God bless. Peace. And Merry Christmas. Christmas is coming up. I got to put up my tree. Leftover action. Say bye, Echo. Bye.